and doctors, nurses, respiratory therapists, and countless healthcare workers are on the front lines of the fight against the coronavirus responsible for COVID-19. Tonight, RTV6's Cornelius Hawker spoke with a pediatric emergency department physician who explains what hospitals are up against and how you can protect both healthcare workers and the people who are most at risk. I think that we are in the calm before the storm. That's how Dr. Mercy Hilton describes the big challenges ahead for healthcare workers tackling COVID-19. Right now we are trying to get adequate um, quantities of personal protective equipment. Um, you know, we haven't hit the surge and we're already running low on those things. It's led to hospitals having to reuse masks, face shields, and other equipment that's normally disposable. And we don't know about the um, adequacy of this equipment when it's being reused. So, you know, we feel like we're really putting ourselves, our health, our lives, and our, you know, secondarily, our, our um, families' lives in danger by going to work. With the enormous strain being put on the healthcare system, Dr. Hilton says social distancing is the most powerful way right now to try and stop the spread of this virus. It, it means basically keeping to yourself at home um, so that you cannot infect other people and other people cannot bring you the infection. Testing is becoming more readily available here in Indiana, but Dr. Hilton doesn't want to give people who think they might be infected hope that they'll even be given a test. We are not testing people with mild symptoms at all. We're really only testing people that um, need to be admitted to the hospital for critical care. That means don't show up unexpectedly to a hospital demanding a test because... That's not going to happen. And it's just going to increase your chance of acquiring it if you don't already have it or spreading it if you do. Dr. Hilton also wanted me to stress employers need to stop demanding their employees get sick notes because it's causing people to put themselves and their families at risk by going to hospitals and urgent cares simply to get a sick note. Working for you, Cornelius Hawker, RTV6. Dr. Hilton says another issue with just showing up to hospitals or urgent care is that certain facilities have designated themselves as clean or dirty, meaning your closest hospital may not be accepting any patients with respiratory issues that could be COVID-19. Your best bet is to call ahead and speak to someone before deciding to go anywhere.